Now we can focus on this next little project right here. I'm gonna make it like a little rat rod wagon and take the car shows, take the turkey run, be able to take the cooler and stuff. Just got it, gonna clean it up, take it apart. All right, so we got some time today to be working on the wagon. And uh, here it is, wash it up. Some of the leathering came off the side. I'm gonna take all these off, sand them. Maybe I'll burn them and then sand them again to get that nice cool look. It's got a couple little scratches and stuff like that, but that's the whole purpose of getting a used one. It doesn't, not supposed to look brand new. So we're gonna take it all apart and then I'll show you some of the stuff I bought for it. See if we can start assembling anything today. It's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt because I got the boat parked right behind the bench, but we'll see what we get done. All right, so about after five minutes, got everything apart. Pretty much bought the wagon just for this. I do like this is a big red, I believe. So you can see it's much deeper than a regular wagon. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'll probably be using some of these woods too. We'll see how they finish up. If anything, I'll make new ones. See if I can fix this crack here. But let me go get some parts from the inside so we can start doing some layout, measuring for the frame, and so you guys can get an idea of what it's going to look like. All right, so here it is, kind of set up. It looks really cool. It looks completely different than when you sketch it out on paper. Got a little, like, vintage Coca-Cola cooler. It's brand new. Maybe the next time I go to the turkey run, I'll see if I get a, a vintage one that has a little bit of patina on it. Or if anybody has one that's watching this video, let me know if you're interested in selling it. But that's pretty much going to be the setup there. Probably be more or less the ride height. Got a little LT80 cylinder head. Print a little velocity stack for it out of the exhaust. And I'll be welding this up somewhere there to the frame. It's like a little stack and it fits a Gatorade bottle perfectly in there so it's gonna double as a cup holder but definitely gonna be pretty cool looking so I'm gonna start doing some measurements all right so I got a rough sketch of the frame size there I'm gonna start burning this wood and scraping it see how it comes out and uh, we'll go from there and maybe start building the frame tomorrow let me set the phone up just so you get an idea what the wood looked like before These pieces, after pressure washing, they're still pretty old looking. So, see what There you can see uh, before the wire brush, looks more burnt. Now looks more finished and stained, looks pretty good. So, uh, let me wire brush this one and then I'll get to doing one of these. And just a little before and after. The burnt before wire brush, that's what it looked like before. Another wire brush. Right, let 
Let me give you guys a close up look. There you can see it with the char still on it. And that's what it looks like finished. It's pretty warm. When you burn it, it also does a good job at taking off the fluff that the pressure washer leaves on old wood. Kind of makes it fluffy like that instead of sanding it all down. You can see the fluff there. And you'll see when we wire brush it'll be gone the side looked the same before you can see how smooth it looks same with these pieces you can see an old one here it's kind of fluffy and moldy looking this is after pressure washing too I look a little bit better now Alright, so let me do the rest of them, and then I'll come back after we're done. Alright, there they are all done already. And these, just some of the wood was just too rotted to really do anything nice. I might just hit it lightly so it's not so white. The finish came out really nice, nice and smooth, and you can still kind of see the, the big red in the wood grain. So I'm gonna go see if I can glue this up here. And I'll probably be done for the day. All right, so I got some time. I'll be working on the frame today. I'm gonna show you what I've already done. I've already cut some pieces here for the front axle and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So these are all the original pieces from the top. I cut off these pieces from this section. And then I also trimmed out the back for these to go in there. And these are what's gonna give me my drop. And then that will go down to the main frame. I didn't want to mount this upside down. I think it looks much better this way. Then a lot of people mount it upside down. And I got the motor to fit in there. And the exhaust tip to be welded, something like that. So let me get this welded up and I'll come back. And I'll show you what we 3D printed to hold the tires on the shafts. And I gotta get some shaft collars. All right, so here we got our front suspension set up. You kind of see how it's working out, and the motor's gonna go on top of that. I'll grind the welds a little bit. That's the front crossbar, the downpipes, and now we're gonna build the frame that goes all the way back. So when I come back, hopefully we'll have the complete frame. All right, so here we got our frame for the most part done. All the way to the back. We'll put the tub on it now. Now we'll put the cooler on to see how we're gonna make some mounts for this. It actually fits perfect with these pieces slid on and everything. And the cooler fits inside of the frame. So I'll probably weld something on the bottom here to hold the cooler there, here, and then got to make our wheel mount. I gotta go buy some stuff tomorrow. That's where the wheel's gonna go. See those things. Coming along, I'm gonna weld the engine on, the exhaust on, and get some mounts for the cooler. All right, so I put the sideboards on to make sure I'm not gonna have any problems with the back clearance of the tires. And I got the exhaust and motor welded up now. And you can see here, get her bottle fits in there, perfect. For the rear cooler, I added a piece of quarter inch birch that I burned up to match all the rest of the wood. And I just mounted little tabs here, here, in the corners to hold the wood, to hold the cooler. I'm not sure how I'll hold this down, probably just glue it. Make sure the cooler fits. And the 
Cuda fits pretty good. So tomorrow, I'm gonna go buy some wrenches and the bolts for the back tire. And I'll be mounting it right there, right behind that wood. And then back here, I'm gonna cut a wrench in half, and weld it to the bolt, and that's what's gonna hold my rear axle. So hopefully we'll be done with this project tomorrow and see what it looks like rolling. Then I'll have to 3D print some kind of covers like I did for the front. So hopefully tomorrow will be the day. So here's the wagon all done up. Everything's connected, got all the center caps on. Center caps on the back. Then back here, got a wrench, cut it in half, and I welded it on the inside. That way, at least the back looks nice. Here's the open end of it, and same thing, welded on the inside. I just put it out with a washer to space it to get the center caps to sit right. And that's it for the rat rod wagon. Let me know what you guys think I should add. I got the little Mexican blanket to put inside. Ready for the turkey run.